Welcome back to Gemini Roo. This time we're gonna go straight in for training. And I guess we don't have any memories because they have been wiped. I don't know what training he's talking about. Some of the other instructors were worried that we erased your cognitive functions along with your memory banks. It does occasionally happen, so they wanted you to retake some simple logic tests. But logic tests are such a bore, and you look fine to me. Don't you agree, Delta-6? I'll take that as a yes. So, let's get back to the fun bit of your training. Before your unfortunate escape attempt, we were training you in the finer aspects of the handgun. Let's see if you can still remember how to do it. Okay, boss. Go ahead, pick up your new toy. screwed in place. I'll need some kind of tool if I want to remove it. It's screwed in place. Okay. Hello? Is someone there? Somebody's watching me. There's no way I could reach it even by standing on something. What is it you have? objects together. Alright, we got our pedestal. <laughs> this is where the gun goes up and down. Remember how this goes? Ah, good to see you remember the point of entry. Welcome to the targeting range. As you no doubt remember, cover is just as essential as aiming. You are currently in the cover position. You have two positions available to you, in cover and out of cover. You will only be able to fire when out of cover. To alternate between the two, tap the A and D keys. Good. No way, I see. Assume the out of cover position. Press space to fire. Good. Now try using up the rest of your ammo. As you can see, you will run out of ammo quite steadily in the field. Press R to reload your weapon. Please note that you can only reload in the cover position. If this were a real scenario, you would be reloading with magazines. However, for this case, just press the little lever on the side of the weapon and the chamber will refill. Try shooting the target again after reloading. That's our so. You, if you wish to aim for a one shot, one kill head blow, you must concentrate before firing. Try tapping control once to initiate a full breath. When breathing in, there is a zone that will flash, indicating you are set for a headshot. If you fire during this zone, you are guaranteed an instant kill. However, this is only a small window of opportunity, and you must use it wisely. Try it out on the target. Very good, but in the field, your enemies will not remain stationary for you. They will also duck in and out of cover. Try to score a headshot on the target while it moves in and out of position. Excellent, very good, Delta-6. That will be all for today. To change the difficulty of combat, press the menu select option and then click on combat. Please place the gun back on the pedestal. Okay. Good. Now I suppose you don't remember why you are here anymore. This is a training facility where you are taught to become proper citizens again. As long as you follow orders, you will be out of this facility and back on the road to a normal life. Oh, come on, like I'm gonna buy that. Now, you see that ticket that just came out of the wall? These tickets are usually good for three meals. You can redeem them at the mess hall by inserting them into a dispenser. Go ahead and take it. Your food and well-being is up to you to take care of.
little tear came out of the dispenser in the wall. I can't use my... You can eat it! He told you it's for food. Something to do here with my foot? Yes, there is. Okay, well, we're going to be taking a little slip of paper like he wants us to. Oh, and Delta-6, please don't try to escape again. Erasing your memory is just as painful for you as it is for us. We have a tight schedule here, and we're on time limitations to get you and all of your friends rehabilitated. For all of our sakes, I hope I don't have to repeat myself again. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Good, Delta-6. Now please exit the testing chamber. Well then, that's dark. So it looks like that we're out of here. I don't know what's left of us, but... Hey, you! Come over here, under the camera. Hello? Do you know who I am? No. No. Good. You have something on your sleeve that belongs to me. What are you- Ow! Good seeing you, Charlie. Well then... Charlie? She took a piece of cloth out of my hand, just the one that had scribbles- Oh, fuck. The food ticket, you dummy. Cold to the touch. I don't think it opens that way. Alright, so we need to hopefully find her. Oh, she didn't take our food ticket. I think she took our ID or something. Secure door. I don't even know what's going on here. What does that control button do, though? Error. Circuit disconnected. Please try again later. Okay. Maybe I should try the other one. Okay. Whatever you say, Charlie. to reset the deflector shield again. Who is that? You, there, on level five. Oh, Delta Six. It's me, the director, once again. If you could be so kind as to figure out why the elevators have stopped working on that level, that would be great. Could you do that for me, please? He locked me in. Of course I'll do it. Please inside the elevator. I would only hurt my foot. Don't see how I can use my mouth there. I'm not strong enough to open it with my bare hands. Actually, Try see what the later. air is. There was a uh, let's see. There was a plug here that I saw plugged earlier. I paid attention to that. It's not actually plugged in right now, though. So. Um, Delta Six. Just what are you doing? Don't tell me you've forgotten how to move a box now, have you? All right. This should be fairly easy to remember. Press A to move the box to your left. D 
to move the box to your right, W to climb on top, and S if you've changed your mind. Okay. Do 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 do. <laughs> it kind of looks like he's performing some type of dance or something. Anyways, we go up here. I already figured out the thing. It should probably be plugged back in. That's what we're gonna put in our mouth. <laughs> okay, okay. Got it. Why do you want to use plugins for an elevator? Thank you, Delta Six. I'll put in a word for you with the other instructors. Oh yeah, okay, there's that's how we get out of the boxes, isn't it? Alright, what's the secure door? Uh, the sign in case that is a maintenance door, off limits to patients. Whoop. There's some kind of seal on it. Can't get it open. All right, so back inside the elevator we go. It sends me up or down. We're on four or five right now, so let's see how this goes. Okay, maintenance, living, gym, mess hall, test chambers. But there says there's no level six, though. I see it right there. Let's go. Living sound kind of cool, but then I realized that's probably just really like it was blah, blah, blah. It's kind of cool because from this perspective of the character, I really feel like I don't know what's going on. But I guess it's, it's kind of like that whole thing where we're only seeing the sight of the character right now. Like the last character who we were playing as, it was kind of hard to relate to him sometimes because he had all these opinions. He had all this stuff that we, the viewer, didn't know about. But for this guy's case, we don't know what's going on either. He doesn't know much about this whole situation much, so it feels more legit. This kind of case has made his door off limits of patients. All right. Yes, we're going back up the floor. I'm gonna Recreation go hall is off limits at this time. Please proceed to the mess hall for mealtime. Okay. Want me to eat? I'll eat fucking eat. You know what? Yeah. Oh, hey. Zach is playing all these schools for oblivion. Hammer duck. Hey, what's that? Just waiting to get to the mess hall. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make a big mess. So, uh, we're gonna probably go and try to eat. Oh. Knew this was gonna happen. I just knew it. Thanks for the ticket, buddy. Wait a minute. This is Delta Six. He must have had his memory wiped. Let's get out of here, quick. Uh, they stole my ticket. I knew something like that was going to happen. After them. So, well, I have to take a look in the mess hall, I guess. Alright. Oh, people. Let's try talking to some people. They all they look as lifeless as empty as I feel. Hello. They greet my back with staring glances and perplexed expressions. Uh, those people... I guess talk to too? Hello? Okay, uh, wait, wait, that one was a different response. I don't need to talk here. Let's talk to these people. Hello. They greet me back with empty souls and unwelcome glances. Hello. They greet me back with snarling faces and unwanted glares.
Hello. Big room back with blank stairs and meaningless stairs. Uh, so it seems like there's different levels here. There's some that are angry, there's some that are perplexed, there's some that do. I guess we'll take the exit here and see where it takes us to. There's one girl sitting by herself. She looks like she knows me. Let's kick her. I'm not that kind of person. I should keep my hands to myself. <laughs> uh, okay, you're a good person. I should sit down first, because you know that, that matters. Anyways, though, we'll sit here, I guess. Did you do it? Did you find out where we are? The map. Well, I do have a what? map. You don't remember, do you? I... I don't know. My name is Epsilon 5. Your name is Charlie. Why do you call me that? You chose that name. I've called you that since you first saved me. You told me you were planning to have your memory erased again. They do that when you try to escape. What? You said it was to complete a map, to find out where we are. Why? Because we have to get out of here before the director... I know you don't remember anything, but you have to trust me. You took care of me when I got here, and now it's my turn to take care of you. Please, try to remember. I don't. Sorry. I do have a map in my pocket, though. Here, have the rest of my food. I'll meet you tomorrow at my testing chamber. We... we usually walk back together. Okay? Okay. Remember, whatever you do, don't complete your final exam. Don't. Okay. Food look good. I should sit down first. Food good. I finished all the food I could. You didn't take a single bite. Let's go. You're like, blah, blah, blah. in the meantime, we're talking. If I put a food ticket in, this this should dispense a meal. Let's. Let's see what happens. Please insert your food ticket to redeem your meal. <laughs> well, fuck that. If I break it, I might not get any more food. <laughs> That's all he cares about. Alright, we're out of here. Listen, I know all you guys here all have that blank, meaningless stare of life, but me who knows nothing is gonna go live my life in that dumpster. <laughs> You'll see who's really happy in the end. <laughs> it's full of useless remains, so soon it'll be my useless remains. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to talk with that. That didn't do anything. Well, I did my part. See you later, suckers! Okay, I'm just 2200 hours. Shutdown mode commenced. Alright, alright, I'm going back home. Uh, Charlie, phone home. Must take elevator and enjoy very good living quarters time with she -mail. What was her name? Uh, Escalon something or another. Living! I'd rather live than die, Chambers, please. Ah. Uh. This reminds me of the great time back when I actually had memories. Thus, I don't actually remember it. I'm just pretending I do. So it feels like I've got something in my life. <laughs> door, door. Uh, which door is which? Uh, 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 I guess I'll go to this one. That one kind of looks like a key or something. Metallic door. I think it opens itself on Mac. Scanner. Let's be high this. Nothing's happening. It's not. This must door must not open for me. Okay, I guess that kind of makes sense. It's a girl because it looks like dress. Now it's more of a guy because he's wearing pants or whatever. Talk to it. Open. Yes, not. All right. 
Talk to this one then. Hello? Open? Hello? Open? This is not how it works. Do we put our foot in? And we turn ourselves around. That's what it's all about. It's not reacting to my hand. They react to something else. Oh, this atmosphere turn is not open for me. Okay, so I guess it is now. So. I mean, I'm sure it was an eye scanner. It's just I want to make sure and all that. So. Yep, here we go. Well, this is very unprivate. This chamber is mine. Scanner. It doesn't recognize my thumbprint. Oh, it is thumbprints. Was controlled by the force field. I don't need to talk here. Alright, which one are we? It doesn't recognize my thumbprint. Cool. Third time's a charm? I doubt it's gonna be the last one, or second to the last one, just to be a bit different. Oh, here we go. D6. Comfy as home. And yes, it was the second to the last one. Okay. End of day 11. You have three tests remaining until your final exam and subsequent release. Good night. <laughs> well, isn't that just lovely? I think it's used to feed information to us. Okay. I don't want to break it. It might be useful. Okay, let's take a look at it. I press the only button I see operating. Operations currently offline. Oh boy. Basin. I washed my hands. I need to talk here. I need to kick it. Nothing happened. Small wash basin. At least I get some privacy. I don't need to go now. You want to kick it? <laughs> Guess that works. I don't have to talk with that. It's your only friend. <laughs> love it. Let's love it. All right, time to go to sleep. There's something under my bed. It's a note. It reads, Delta-6, don't trust anyone. Was I Delta-6? Don't trust anyone. DTA. That girl I'm starting to trust, but maybe she's the one who I should trust the least. I don't know. Hmm. But if that girl is who I'm supposed to trust, and that means it's more like she means she has the kindness and she seems like the one who people would want to trust because she seems trustworthy but at the exact same time just because she's the most trustworthy one it's kind of obvious to start suspecting her all right well things to think about guess there's not much we can do about it either way right now so might as well just sleep are we going back to the story of mr detective You said you were waiting a long time. Matthias. You sure nobody followed you? Jeez, you always fall for that. You're alone. Asriel, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I tried to call you, but you were in hyperspace. By the time you got here, it was too late. They got him? Buryo Kudan tracked him down here two days ago. They got him while I was getting my family off world to Colony 4. Somehow I knew this was going to happen. 
Which is why I gave him the tracking device. You what? I gave him a capsule before they got it. I traced it onto a transport that's been sent off-world. I would have followed him, but you know how the planetary regulations are. Can't get a ride anywhere these days. So he's alive. Where do they send him? I don't know. That's the trouble. The ship goes straight off into deep space, uncharted areas. I just need to recalibrate these coordinates, then... Get back! Go! Tense turn based action. <laughs> Just there we go. They're dead. Oh, boy. I need immediate evac from Pittsburgh. Punching in my current location. How soon can you be here? Someone's still Roger near that. Though. ETA, five minutes. The closest available landing spot above ground level is on top of Hibiscus High Rise. Are you with your brother? Asriel. No. Roger that. I'll be there soon. Over and out. If I go out, I'll get shot. Matthias Howard. The reason I'm in this mess. So you don't even care about your brother at all, then? Okay, Broken lock. I don't need to give that to him. You try. How are you holding up? Maybe we should, you know, get out of here before chit-chatting. Alright, I already knew what I had to do. I had to grab this by hand and be like... Matthias should go over first. How are you holding up? Maybe we should, you know... Jump over that wall. You think I could do that from down here? Hey, Matthias, you want to <laughs> take care of that guard? Sure, sure. Just let me get my pistol out. Oh, wait. I think I left it at home. <laughs> I just see what I always can tell him to do. There's no way I can skip. Okay, let's talk to my friends. I don't need to give that to him. <laughs> it's himself. He can't do anything there. Oh, come on. That's just funny. There's nothing for him to do there. <laughs> okay, get on the box. Get on the box. What? Get on the box. <laughs> yeah. The amusement there is so much. Jump over that wall. Quick. I'll try. Come on over, quick. All right, going up. Now let's climb it. I still can't reach the top. I'll need a little boost. What? I still can't reach the top. I'll need a little boost. What do you mean by a little pipe? 
Are you saying you're shorter than your friend then? Okay, so grab it and we'll go over here to the pipe. Got it. Hibiscus High Rise is where I live. I know. Get behind me and we might make it. You don't need to tell me, you know. Yes, I do. Trust me, Bubaroo. Won't open. It's locked. The lock is rusted shut. There's no way I can pick it. Can you try to get that gate open? Just shoot it open and let's get on with it. <laughs> At least he's really direct. He's Where's really direct. Hibiscus High Rise again? I think you've already been there. My apartment is there. Okay, no need to <laughs> wait a second. That would be hilarious. Calling it when I'm standing right next to him. He's right here if I need to ask him something. <laughs> Call Kane then. What are you doing calling me? Get onto the rendezvous point now! <laughs> okay, anyways, though. We'll catch you next time in Gemini Roo. I have to admit, this game is starting to pick up my interest. Like, the first part, it was going a little bit slow, but now things are starting to pick up and getting more interested in both the story and the gameplay. is getting more fun and varied. And the game's also getting a weird sense of being somewhat serious, yeah, also having a pretty good sense of humor. Or maybe it's just me finding things that are funny. But all the same, catch you next time.